Well, I am, again, very honored to introduce a couple of guys I know you've been waiting to see. These two uh, men are very near and dear to my heart. Please give a warm welcome to Williams and Reed, the Indian and the white guy. And gentlemen, and welcome oh. to the hometown oh. of Bill Janklow. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I cannot think of a finer spot to do our act. Yes, indeed. Than right here in beautiful Brandon. Oh. The and home of the Bill. lovely Bill Janklow. And apparently pay no attention to Flandreau. Absolutely not. Uh, because they also claim the same thing. They do. We yeah. came down 29, there was a sign, Flandreau, hometown of Governor Bill Janklow. Right on. We came down 90, same thing. Brandon, hometown of Governor Bill Janklow. Yeah. We don't know where the hell he lives. I think he lives in Pier. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I do too. I think he lives in Pier. Yeah. Soon he'll be living with Pressler. But anyway, <laughs> we, <laughs> we are just excited. Excited to be here tonight. Yeah. Now, may uh, oh. some of you, some of you may have noticed there's cameras around here. Now, yeah, don't we worry don't worry about that. We're not getting any They're crowd not professional shots. Professional cameras. <laughs> <laughs> we may get some crowd shots here tonight. So yeah. if you're with someone that you don't want to be seen with, oh. you better get out of here yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we lose half the audience. This here. is. Uh, <laughs> This is not uh, that type of show, and we may no. we may show you, yep. and we don't care. We we don't we don't have you sign nothing. We just show it. Yeah, that's uh, right. We don't we don't care. No about release for it. Yeah. Try to sue me. I'll be at Fort Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> you can chip away at a Chippewa, but you can't sue a sue. That's right. That's right. Right on. Well, anyway. We are delighted to be here at the fabulous Brandon uh, Theater. Uh, yeah, uh, what Brandon, is this exactly called? Brandon right? Valley Entertainment Arts and uh, uh, the BVDs. BVDs, or yeah. yes. Uh, the Brandon Valley uh, uh, Directorial. Brandon Valley, yes. exactly. That's yeah. where we're out here in the valley. All I know is it's beautiful. Here. It's a fabulous, fabulous oh, place. Once you hit that uh, exit, you come oh. off there, Holiday Inn Express, right oh. there. Oh. And then uh, there's uh, some one of those. Sports little, bar. Little uh, Grabas bars. There. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Grabas. Yeah. Yes. How do you spell that? G R A B A S S. I thought so. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. well anyways, <laughs> it's exciting to be here. Uh, yeah. We were here. Oh, yeah. We were here last year and had such a lovely time, and yeah. the crowd was just fantastic. We oh. thought, let's come back this year and tape here. Yeah. The well, tape, let's tape a new video tape, tape, since tape. we haven't done a new video in about 28 years. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> Well, we did the movie. We did we, the movie. The uh... well, I said we haven't done a new video. In 20 <laughs> <years>. <laughs> Some of you may have purchased the video and oh. been saddened by what oh, we showed yeah. you. But anyway, yeah. we, we... I'll tell you, what was the one lady came up to you and one said? One lady. It's a true story. A lady came up to me uh, uh, somewhere in uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, yeah. somewhere. She came up. She said, "I bought that movie. I bought that movie. Put it in about 11:30." Uh, one night we said, let's watch this. So we put it in about 11.30. By 3.30 in the morning, we thought, you know, well, first of all, she said, we put it in 11.30. By 12.30, we thought, well, we'll just keep watching it. It's got to get better. <laughs> <laughs> she said, by 3.30, they were mad as hell because it never did get any better. <laughs> well, <laughs> It's long, though. It's, it's very long. You get your money's worth yes, for length. It's, and, uh, yeah. it's yeah. right in there with uh, uh, Apocalypse Now. Yes, that yes. That was one of my favorites. A pack of lips now. A pack yes. of lips now, yes. yes. Right. Formerly from Milwaukee. But anyway, <laughs> we are just excited to be here. We have some songs to sing. We have some things to say. For those of you not familiar with us, for those of you who may be watching for the first time, mm -hmm. we are Williams and Ray, sometimes referred to as the Indian and the white guy. Ongawa, I'm the Indian. No, no. <laughs> I've just been kind of sick. No, no. <laughs> you are not the Indian. But I am kind of sick. Yes, you are. I'm part of the wannabe tribe. Yes, you do. <laughs> or the wish it was. Yes, you do. <laughs> wish it was an Indian so I could get a government check. Hey, 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 hey. I wish I was half Indian, half farmer. I'd get a bigger government no, check. Wait. Hey, hey. <laughs> Watch 
what you're saying, you draft dodging, pot smoking, gay loving womanizer? Hey, I could be president. Oh! Yeah. I did not play curling with that woman. No. <laughs> Apparently, anyone can be president if your brother is the governor of Florida. That's well, right. Anyway, <laughs> We are just, what the hell did you do to your hair? I just had the cat lick it this morning. Is that how you got that? You, you've heard of a cow lick. This is a cat lick. Is yeah. that what that is? Hey, I'm not Lutheran. I'm cat lick. Oh, no. <laughs> now, there, right away, you opened up the religious yeah, thing. I know, I know. We've got to go to the religious go right thing. Now, it, listen, we're going to point out the three, three most important there are all time three. religious beliefs. These are three. Number one. Yep. Number one. The yep. Jews do not recognize Jesus as the Messiah. I knew that one. Number two. The yep. Protestants do not recognize the Pope as the leader of Christianity. I did not know that. Number three. Lutherans do not recognize one another in a liquor store. Now, this is the one. This is the one. They have so much You trouble. did not see me in here, Torvald. They do? Yeah. Some reason, yeah. Minnesota and North Dakota, they just don't buy that I one. I don't but, know what it is. But anyway, we're just delighted. Oh, we are pleased. We are excited to be here at this fabulous oh, theater here man. in Green Brandon. I, we should get some, some shots of the side. It, it, the it's side shots. cathedral looking. Yes, That's it a, does it look like a like cathedral. The, uh, the, uh, oh, 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 Mormon tabernacle. Uh, no, 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 uh, no. I was thinking of uh, uh, Paris. The, Paris. Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, Arc, Arc Notre de Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yes, yes. of course. Croissant. Yes, of course. Yes. Parlez-vous la français? Oui, le volet. Oui. Yeah. Moussiden, Moussiden. Oh, on est chez les Sénats. Well, anyway, we are just delighted to be here. We do have some songs to sing, some things to say, so many things Ooh. going on, you know. Yeah. And this time of year, the oh. Olympics, uh, oh. there was more protesting going on. Today. And, you know, I think they just should award everyone who comes to the damn Olympics, just give them a gold. Yeah, that's right. Just give them a gold. Especially if it's in Salt Lake, because you, you cannot that. fly in there. No. It's like flying Masaba from here to pier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's it's just, just too much. Have you flown Masaba lately? I from have. here to pier, you have to stop in Aberdeen, Watertown, Kimball, Porcupine, Porcupine and Kyle. Kyle. Yes, well... And the bathrooms. What's the point to have a bathroom on these little teeny planes? The bathrooms are so small. Yeah, so so I can't use them. Uh, I got to I got to leave the door open, drop my pants, and back in. Yeah. Oh, it's not pretty. <laughs> you hear the Indian going beep 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 beep. And, then, beep, and, then, beep, beep. and I get, I I just have to leave the door open. Oh That's yeah. How I'm gonna do it. That really cuts down on the snacking oh, too. Oh, sure does. <laughs> He George, George flight. Bush would have choked on a pretzel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the flight attendant said, really cut down on the peanuts. Yeah. Nine-year-old flight attendant. Yeah. You know, and then, then they got a 12-year-old pilot. pilot in yeah. There. Plane. And, they, and then every other plane you get on, they got a female pilot. Yeah. yeah. It used to be called a cockpit. Now it's a sandbox up there. Yeah, I, don't know what, exactly. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, going on either. But... <laughs> It's just amazing. It's but amazing. women shouldn't be flying. I think they, they should. should. Some of them be... are really, really good pilots well, and I stuff. Don't, I just don't feel right with yeah. a woman up there fly, flying. Ex exactly. Exactly. That's it, the way I am. I know. I may be part Taliban. I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, I could be. I could be. They didn't have a bad deal there. You know, they. You know, the Taliban. They yeah. beat their women. Yeah. Well, that's oh, yes, not they a. beat their women. Made them wear those whole, whole the sheets over their heads and everything. That's called a burqa. Well, whatever it is, it's yeah. not a bad idea. Yeah. Now they've been taking them off. They got some ugly women over. Oh there. yeah. Oh, oh my God! Geez. They look like runaway hunterites. I'm telling yeah. you. It is amazing. <laughs> No offense if there are any people from here and here. Yes, but there's... <laughs> Cheddars, Hofers, and Walners. But anyway... It's... No I one else did. is going to get <laughs> No one else but South Dakotans we'll will get that one. We'll sell, we'll sell this video all over the country. And everyone yep. will say, why did they laugh? Why did they laugh there? Cheddars. That's uh, very kind yeah. saucer to me. Well... Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I've been, you know, been watching the Olympics. Oh, yeah, the Olympics. And, uh, the Koreans now are upset. Oh, Koreans yeah. Koreans are upset. Uh, uh, Soho or Apollo. Uh, but, Apollo. Yeah. Got awarded the gold. The other guy cut him off. Yeah, he did. The, I, don't know. I thought that's the way you raced. You're going to win. Yeah. You, you stay in front. Exactly. 
that's the, that's the way Indians run races. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Better that's in the damn thing. You better be in front when you cross the line. Exactly. There's no disqualification. No, there. no. And understand that. That's a ridiculous. Apparently, there rules. And yeah, the rules, so regulations, rules and, and you yeah. just can't you just can't talk them all. Yeah, exactly. And that's what they do. They you talk know. all those people. It's know? yeah, because they, they give they, them free gifts they, under the table oh, sure, and stuff. Sure. Yeah, sure. And they, they trade do. their votes. The French women, you know, yeah. went with the Russian and they you yeah. know, through the. It's Canadian. a lot like the tribal council on the reservation. You know, it's the same <laughs> kind of uh, system. Not your reservation. I wasn't speaking of your reservation. Speaking of one way up in Canada. I'm glad. That, <laughs> yeah, I'm that glad was that you way didn't, up there. Didn't do that. But yeah, anyway, okay. there's all these yeah. things going on, and yeah, and there's just uh, so much in, oh, in the news and this. George you know, Bush choking George on Bush that choking, pretzel. Falling oh. out. That's amazing. I, I, I think the guy was drunk. Yeah. I think I, he was drunk. Yeah, I do Passed too. Passed out, yep. fell down, hit his head on the damn coffee table. Exactly. The Indians have done this. Yeah. And, and they know, like the shiner, you know, if you, if the wife would have hit him, yeah. that would have been a bigger shiner. Yeah. It was just a glancing blow right <laughs> off the corner of the coffee, of the coffee table. Exactly. The, was, the uh, William Holden. Uh, exactly. Just, uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, That's exactly. what happened. I mean, right you know, hey, yeah. uh, who is this guy think he is? He, he hit, he, he choked. He choked on, on, a, the, on a pretzel. pretzel. He's so healthy. Yeah. His heart rate is so low. So low. His blood pressure is so, so low. low. This is the spin they put on this game. Yeah, yeah. His, his heart rate is so low. He's his blood so pressure is so low. Healthy. That the, uh, the uh, pretzel choked, lodged in there, immediately knocked him out. He fell off the couch. He yep. had his head on the coffee table and was out for four seconds. Four seconds. Now, this is the smartest man I've ever known in my life. Exactly. Four seconds. He knew he was out for four seconds. You don't. You don't even. No, you, Indian. I, Indians will tell you. When you're out, you've got no idea how long you're out. Yeah, that's right. Oh, could, you could be out for days. Yeah. You know? But Mrs. Bush must have been there because any married woman out here will tell you what four seconds is. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Bush said, well, he, he, yep. he knew he was only out for four seconds yep. because the dog and the cat had the same look on their faces. <laughs> <laughs> What's with this deal? The dog and the cat, my, they're looking at him like, yo, Bob. One too many, huh? <laughs> hey, wins. I just yeah. can't believe it. But I don't trust this guy. Anymore. I know. I, I just know. don't trust it this guy. It came down anymore. to that tie it and that thing. It came down to that, that uh, Florida deal. Oh, it, boy. It, it's amazing. Yeah. People, it's amazing. Yeah, you know? it's incredible. Oh, it, it, this, this, this race came down to the Democrats, the half the votes, the Republicans, half the votes, came down to one state. Yes. Now, what are the odds that that one state that is going to swing the vote either way, your brother is the governor of that state? Right. Yeah. Don't you think? That's a little fixed job there, people. Yeah. Have it you is. thought about this one? Yeah. No, yeah it is. I'm telling you. But just... at least the Indians have a bush to hide behind. Well, now. I, you know, I just. The upsetting yeah. thing yeah. to the Indian people was they blamed they blamed everything on the elderly people. Yes, they blamed those the old, old people. people the old people couldn't make I out can't the ballot. Read they that. couldn't read the ballot. This ballot and that's here. what happened. I now, can't. first of all, Indians are offended by this because yes. we respect our elders. elders the yes. elders are more knowledgeable. That's they have right. been here longer. They, they know what's going on. Feathers. But these people yes. said, oh, the old people couldn't read the ballot. They're going to have to throw out 180,000 Now, these are the same old people that play 15 to 20 bingo cards a game. Yeah. But for some reason, yeah. they couldn't make one little dot. Yeah, they should have had like a dabber ballot for well, that, I, you know. The, yeah. That was necessary. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. that's history. It's gone. Right. We have the president. Yep. And I'll bet he's wishing he wasn't taking that job <laughs> now. <by again. laughs> All of this, oh, this uh, came war going down on. to Gore and Bush. And, yes, and, yeah. and now it's the war. Yeah, now it's that's the war. a big We're war, too. Yeah, fighting all this terrorism. Yeah, it's a damn right shame on. What's going on here? Yeah, what do we have to do to get on a damn airplane now because it's, of this it's thing? It's even Masaba. You oh, got to yeah. go through that uh, strip search and bending know, over yes. and all that. And is that a pair of pliers? I know, yeah, it's just, just awful. Pull the rose out of one guy. <laughs> yeah, he was saying, read, read the, the card. card. Read yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that's a whole <laughs> all right, so, so anyway, all this Bush is the big leader uh, yeah. now, and the, the war is going the on. The Taliban and they, guys they bombing Afghanistan. Exactly. And they, they, you know this uh, this whole thing is going on. And, yeah. And, 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 and I, uh, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand how this can happen. But he's president, and yep. that's what's going he's on. He's taking care. But of I'm going to tell you right now, white yep. people. Yep. There is no way 
This is no way to fight a war. What, what? You do not fight a war and every day on CNN tell people how many bombs you dropped, what kind of planes they came out of, where the helicopters dropped them in. They're coming, in this way. That's men, right. they're coming, in, they're, they're coming around this way. In in you cannot win a war by telling everybody what you're doing yeah. every damn yeah. day. Yeah. That's right. I'll tell you right now, yeah. if we had CNN, we'd have kicked your butt and sent you all back to Europe. That's right. <laughs> You'd all be driving Volvo. Yeah. There'd be no Indian casinos either. No. It's a damn j I'm telling you, yeah. you know who's doing this? I have figured this yes, out. Sir. I have researched this. Yes, you know right. who's doing it? Yeah. That Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. Yeah. Yes. yes. She's still calling shots in there. Exactly. You know what her enemy name is? Her, her enemy name? Her Indian name. Her Indian name. Sleeps with the enemy. Sleeps That's with the enemy. Name. That's her Indian That's name. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And her husband, too. Her He's husband, the one, old yeah. uh, Ted Turner. Yeah. That's exactly what their lovemaking coach hollered at him. Ted Turner. <laughs> I colorized that one. <laughs> I'm not sure what you did with that one. But anyway, all of that's going on, and it's yeah. just so much we need to we need to discuss, discuss here. And that, yeah, yeah. And that uh, Osama yeah. bin Laden, oh. that, that deal, you know, oh, this man. guy is dumber and loaded. Hey, even his wife yeah. was mad at him. Yeah. Well, one of his wives. I guess he's got several. He's got a oh, ton of 48 them. 48 kids. And he's them. supposed to, uh, when he meets Allah, he's supposed to have uh, 73 virgins or know, something. I don't and, know what the, what the deal is yeah. there, but, but this is a, this is a, a true story. What? Uh, one point. Morning, uh, Osama got up and his wife was just giving him that cold stare. She had that flat half open. Oh yeah. She just, <laughs> just, just giving him that cold stare. Yeah. And he said, "Why? What are you looking at me? Should you are the stupidest man alive? Yeah. You are the dumbest." You are the stupidest man alive. Yeah. You see the trouble you've gotten us into? My God, we can't stay in one place more than one night. We have to get on those horses and go through the desert and sleep in the caves. And it's all because of you and the trouble that you started. You're the stupidest man alive. Yeah, I agree with her. And he got all upset. You know, he stormed out of the house and he went to went to his his, his uh, lieutenants. And, oh, yeah. And he looked at them and he said, lined them all up and he said, tell me, do you think I'm the stupidest man alive? And they all said, you are. The stupidest man alive. Yeah. I can't believe what you, the trouble that you've gotten us into. We can't stay anywhere. We haven't seen our families. We're on horseback. We're swimming through the desert into the caves. All this, you are the stupidest man alive. So he went back home. Oh. He went back home. He went into the bathroom and he slammed the door in that cave. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he looked in the mirror and he said, Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the stupidest man of all? And he just stood there. And about 10 minutes later, he came out and he says to his wife, who's Dennis Green? <laughs> I'm a little big in California. Yeah. Though, but, uh, that was a good but anyway, enough of that. <laughs> We're here, we've got some songs to sing. We've got oh, some things right to say. On, I'm yeah. going to start with something right, very special. Little little if you don't mind something yeah. very special. I'm looking forward to that. said we have been a lot better off if your mother would have just held her water and drowned you. Well, she tried, but we had Culligan. I never knew him as dad. I was always, hey, Culligan, man. You've got an excuse for everything. Yeah. I want to do a song for you, and this is, in fact, the very first song that I ever learned on the reservation from South Dakota many, many moons ago. All right! We know that one. One little, two little, three little Indians. Four little, five little, six little Indians. Seven little, eight little, nine little Indians. Boy, we got a whole truck load. Come on, let's go. It's just... 
It's a love song. A love song must be. How much is that doggy in the window? I'm really quite hungry, you see. <laughs> is that a Pomeranian or a pit bull? A real Indian delicacy. Yum, yum. Hot dogs, armor hot dogs. What kind of Indians eat armor hot dogs? A fat buck, skinny bucks, bucks who climb on rocks, short bucks, sissy bucks, even bucks with chicken bucks. Hey, hey, remember this one? Indian Lake is a place you should make with your little one. Remember this one? Just keep it in mind if you're looking to find a place in the summer sun. Swim in the cove, have a snack in the grove, or you can rent a canoe. <laughs> At Indian Lake, you'll be able to make the way the Indians do. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Over. This is what happens when the fetus does not get enough oxygen. They either turn real blue or they team up with a zoo. You are starting to turn blue. Arr. It's a love song. I hope some of you might enjoy it. Oh, 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 oh. On the banks, on the river, on the river, on the river, on the that they see them. It's like a, like a spiritual kind of... Where or, is our band? Oh, take a look, Eagle Eye. Look in dictionary undergone. <laughs> Where is our band? I don't know. You scare me now. You look like Judge Ito on steroids. Where is our band? I don't know. 
You ask same question every time. <laughs> you not listen, that's a problem. I say, I don't know it, leave my lips and go, I don't know. They go in that ear, inside big ass head. Out of the ear. <laughs> Good thing you're not fighting Mike Tyson, he have buffet. not speak plain English or what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if a mosquito bites you and gets enough blood, can you get a check? I apologize. I apologize for everything I just said. I'll take it back now. <laughs> English, not your primary language. <laughs> I translate, though, into your language. Listen up one time. I love my rancho grande, happy barahi, alegre merecia, yo quiero taco bell. Oh, wrong language. Indian. I must translate into Indian. <laughs> well, I'm thinking I don't know. <laughs> I've just put this device on my forehead and all of a sudden I have a strong desire to open up a conoco in crooks. <laughs> I have a good friend who is half Native American and half Ethiopian. His name is Highly Illegal. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, wrong Indian. Sue. I must translate into Sue. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad. What? <laughs> no, have. Band. <laughs> what? We know half band. <laughs> Roll on, big mama. How long have we not had a band? Long time! Many months! <laughs> May have been that long, but certainly not that wide. Oh, that's a dirty crack. Nonetheless, as we always say on the reservation... When do the checks get here? No, no, no. What? Chicks. 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 You're catching government chicks? No. We always say, when do the white chicks get here? Oh, what if the chicks bounce? Well, they get to stay longer. So tonight... <laughs> makes perfect sense. Kind of a special night. Right on. Take these chains from my heart and set me free.
be a good one if we knew that one. Yeah, right? that's uh, Hank, isn't it? That's uh, Hank Williams. Hank Williams, Hank Williams. that'd be my... Thank you so much. That's uh, my great, uh, great uncle uh, twice removed. What's that? I, my great uncle twice removed, I think. Uh, Hank Williams? Yeah. You are re related to the legendary... I think I, I think I am. My name's Williams, so there's got to be a tie there somewhere. Isn't that Williams? Isn't that the name of that, uh, that guy down in Georgia running that crematory? <laughs> Williams? That, that's quite possible. There are many black men with the last name Williams. Yes. 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 This, and, you, you, seen about, you, you heard about that? Yeah. The same, the same down there. Uh, apparently, it's a big uh, pot boiler down he, there. <laughs> so, he was, uh, uh, he was uh, what do you call him? What do you cremate? He's cremating these people yeah. and neglected to cremate them. Yeah. Just, just threw them out in the damn backyard. <laughs> And, and well, the, what happened was that the, the pilot light went out of the crematory, <laughs> and so I just poured some some quick creed on them and piled them up. It's yeah. like it's like nearly three hundred people. Yeah, mm -hmm. three hundred people. They didn't they didn't uh, they didn't cremate. I I told my wife I said I want to be cremated. I said it wouldn't be. Uh, if you, you cremate, you, when you cremate me, you, you follow them. Make sure you watch my fat ass till they burn it. Yeah. I, well, that flame been burning a long time for I you. Then. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. You. I don't want to be, I don't want to be laying out there in somebody's backyard, you yeah. know. Just, oh, well, that's, you know, we had to dry the bodies out first because it was all wet when we got them. And when you dry them out a little bit, they go up quicker. But I forgot to do that. Is that uh, is that the, one of the excuses? Yeah, yeah. What is the, I wonder what the law is on that. The uh, law. Yeah. The law says that you've got to do it. You can't uh, say that you cremated somebody and then put some concrete in some uh, potting soil and and you know if it was an Indian burial, they'd probably put a brick of government cheese in there and say uh, <laughs> say oh yeah that's Uncle Bob there. And, and some of the guys are in the lake too. Yeah, the, and it's the, the drinking water for the town. Oh yeah, downstream. Oh. Downstream, people are drinking the water <laughs> out of this lake where the guy just tossed yeah. a couple you, hundred bodies. You talk about just, Hay Culligan man. Oh Gee, yeah. yeah. They're just, uh, just uh, the no, tidy bowl man and everybody oh, there. Yeah. Is just, uh, He's literally in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Indian drink good water now. Oh yes. You stick with white men soon no longer have to poop by Big Rock. <laughs> Oh, I got Brandon Valley water here. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon Valley water, water, pure water. This is right from the high school. Home this of the Lynx. Home of the Lynx, yes. The Lynx. That's, that's the name of the team. They're like uh, number one uh, for the last uh, 700 years or something ever since uh, Brandon was founded by the uh, Jesuit priests back in <laughs> the early 1200s. Just pull up. Huh? Just pull up. Got a nipple on it. <laughs> I, think, I think we should propose a toast. A toast. Okay. Everyone, lift your glasses high. I can't see a damn thing no, if I do that. No, you drink glass. Oh, sorry. You idiot. Huh. Okay. Here's the Indian who sat on the rock. He had one hand on his bow. The other on his tomahawk. Here, here. All right. <laughs> this one. May the wind at your back never be yours. <laughs> In days of old, when Indians were bold and toilets were not invented, they pulled off the road, dumped their load, and rode on quite contented. <laughs> there was an old broad from Lennox. <laughs> She might be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Give it to him. All right. Osama bin Laden, you son of a bitch. May your balls develop a seven-year itch. <laughs> May your pecker be twisted in such a manner that your asshole whistles the Star Spangled Banner. Here, here.
that ought to give something for the kids to show and tell on Monday. I think he's dead. Yeah. I think he's dead. Have not heard of him. Yeah. Have not heard of him. In well, we bombed the hell out of him over oh, there, yeah. you know. You know, now, you know and they showed the, the guys on the news, you know. It's like, thank you, America. I had just a little cave. Now, with all the bombing, I have a double wide. Yeah. You know, it's just... <laughs> I just can't, I cannot believe you yeah. know the, this this whole deal. The, the news media, you know, yeah. they've never been to Afghanistan. No. All of a sudden, they're showing like blueprint plans of of what it looks like yeah. in Bin Laden's cave. Yeah. It yeah. was like two or three levels. Two or three levels, you know, uh, yeah. Dining room here, winding you know, staircase. Room here, winding staircase yeah. going down to the piano room. Yeah, you know, exactly. And, and a bedroom here. Yeah. And, you know, and then way back in here, you know, there's a there's a bomb shelter. Yeah. You know, I mean, how in the hell? They don't know. News people just make stuff up that it's not true. Exactly. They just make it up, and because it's on television, yeah. people believe it. Same thing happened with Custer. Remember when Custer was uh, massacred? Uh, they called it a massacre, but exactly. it, it it wasn't a, it was not a massacre. They said there was there was more than one arrow that killed him. Wow. They said there was another arrow from a grassy knoll no, somewhere. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That was later. You know, yeah. That was later. That was one of them uh, movie deals. But yeah. anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, they said there the, were fifteen thousand Indians that killed. They were not Cutler. fifteen. There was maybe five thousand. If there were not five thousand. Okay. There was a thousand. If, if you know anything about Indians, you should know there'd be no way in hell you'd get fifteen thousand Indians. To meet at one place at the same time to do the same thing. That just wouldn't happen. No, that's true. It just wouldn't happen. That's true. And, 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 and you know, and, and to this day, yeah. uh, you know, you, you white people have never heard the real story. No. What happened? I still don't know. It was four Indian women. <laughs> They were, they were mad as hell, and they, they apologized about having to go through 200 men to get Custer, but he had cut his hair, and they weren't sure, so they took them all out. <laughs> There you have the rest of the story. It was four, Indian, four Indian women. That is unbelievable, yes. unfathomable. Yes, yeah. that's what happened. Uh -huh. It's not the way you white people told us. You just, you know, just blow things out of proportion. I know just it. It's make it, stuff up. It's 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 what I'm thinking. You know, in my own head, I look at you and I see this huge upper torso and then no butt and no legs. And you know, I'm I'm thinking, oh, that's got to be from chasing the buffalo for so many centuries and stuff. It has nothing to do with chasing the buffalo. It doesn't? It comes from carrying your dead ass for 33 years. Oh, I see. That's what happened. Ah, now we find out the truth. That's how you get to the truth. Exactly. Then. Yeah, right. There on. you have the rest of the story. Oh, I like that. Yeah. The rest of the story. Who was that? Paul, Paul Harvey. Paul, Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Good name. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But my name, my family name originally was struck by the name. Oh, they always shorten it, don't That's, they? That translated yeah. into the actual Indian name, actually translated into into the English language as struck by the reed. Mm -hmm. And so we changed it uh, somewhere along the way, not me, but yeah. back when. So was there another band of the reed tribe that came along and hit you with the sticks and stuff? And I don't know the uh, details, mm -hmm. but I assume that's what happened. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, because that's, you know, how the, how the Indians would name their children. Yeah. The first thing they would see, yes. or whatever happened whenever that yeah. that child was born, mm -hmm. so they would give them. It's place. it's like when we went to uh, Canada recently. Uh, we did a show for uh, the chiefs of the, all the nations of Canada, the Canadian tribes, That's right. and they gave me an honorary Indian they name. Honored you. And I was so proud of that. That's the first time that's ever happened. Yes. Walking Eagle which I think is such a cool name because it symbolizes strength and endurance, you know, walking and the eagle, which is the symbol of uh, American really why they gave you that name. freedom. That's, that's not exactly true. That's not exactly? No, they did give you the name Walking Eagle, and that is your Indian name. Yeah, and but proud of that. it wasn't because of the strength. And oh, why why is... They gave you that because you're too full of shit to fly. So. <laughs> Obviously, these people are aware of that. <laughs> Most of them are not in it. But do you know any Hank? Uh, I know them all. Hank Which one do you want me to do? Uh, 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 hey, hey, good looking. <laughs> I was just going to step into this one. Everybody said you've been untrue. I should be ashamed.
Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good looking. What you got to get? Hands back and get something up with me. Wait, wait a minute. Are those the real words? Yes. I got a hot rod Ford and a two dollar bill. I know a little spot right over the hill. Yes. That's a little cheap, I think. <laughs> He's gonna go over there and well, my use and degrade her for two dollars. I don't. He's gonna take her in the hot rod. He's gonna give her two dollars, and they're going over the hill. Yeah. Looking, what she got cooking? As a back cooking something up with me. Here it is. I got a hot rod board and a two dollar bill. Oh. I know a little spot right over the hill. You're gonna have fun coming along with me. Something's gonna want to have fun coming along with me yes. right there. Yeah, see, That's you don't right. know all the Hank Williams songs. Oh, I know bits of every Hank Williams song there ever was. <laughs> Therefore, I know them all. Okay. It was, uh, what was that big one he had? I got over you when I found you under him? I don't think that was Hank. It <laughs> wasn't Hank. I do not believe that. might have been Haggard. That could have been Haggard. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> uh, uh, Billy Haggard. Billy Haggard. Yeah, yes. yes, he's from Pipestone, but he's really good. Really good. really good. I thought he was yeah. from Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia people are going to get it now. This, oh, this whole crematory thing, I think that Jeff Foxworthy's got something to do with it. Yeah. I think he does. If you got 300 bodies piling up in your backyard, you might be a redneck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if your Uncle Jake was found in the lake, <laughs> you might be a redneck. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's oh, boy. Jake, yeah, that's, Jake in the lake. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. anyway, yeah. Uh, we should do... Uh, we should do some more Hank. Hank? We can yeah. do that. Yes. You want to do that? Which, which one? Oh, that one? Oh, yeah. He fell in love with an Indian maiden over an antique store. Elijah!
take me to Tippy Town? Won't you take me to Tippy Town? Won't you take me to Tippy Town? Talk about it, talk about it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, I guess you had to be there. You really. make it rain <laughs> I guess you had to be there Song. This huh? song was recorded by Waylon. Waylon Jennings. Waylon yeah, Jennings. We lost Waylon. Lost Waylon, and uh, uh, last week was it? Last week, whenever it was, it wasn't yeah. too long ago. It's too long ago. We we worked with Waylon a, a number of times, and he was always very cordial to us, and uh, a good man. Very good man. Very good. Man. Very good man. He had some problems, and he, uh, he admitted those problems. He owned up to him and went stuff. Went on and tried he, to... he was during that uh, outlaw generation That's of country. Right country music, which changed the whole spectrum of country music. Exactly. And so what if they were caught up in some some uh, random drug use and stuff like that? Yes. And it probably, in the long run, it's not good for you. And Absolutely. We certainly do not uh, advocate drugs Absolutely. at all. Absolutely do not. Uh, do we, not. Would, uh, we would recommend that you do not do them, because no. I know you don't, and okay. I don't. So that's the... Why don't you do that song? Okay. The one I like. Okay. on you, babe, and that's all. I've had more chances to fly, more places to fall. It ain't that I'm wiser, it's only that I've spent more time with my back to the wall. And I've picked up a couple more years on you, babe, and that's all. Walked a couple more roads than you, babe, and that's all. And I'm tired of running while you're only learning to crawl. You're heading somewhere, but I've been to somewhere and found it was nowhere at all. And I picked up a couple more years on you, babe, and that's all. Saying goodbye, girl, don't ever come easy at all. But you've got to fly, cause you're hearing them young eagles call. Someday when you're older, you smile at a man strong and tall. You say, I've got a couple more years on you, babe. And that's all. <laughs> you say I've got a couple more years on you, babe, and that's all. I've had more chances to fly and more places to fall. It ain't that I'm wiser, it's only that I've spent more time with my back to the wall. A couple more years 
tears on your babe, and that's all. Yeah, I've got a couple more years on your babe, and that's all.
Uh, Waylon was supposed to be on that uh, Buddy Holly. That's right. Plane. He gave up was, his seat. That's right. So the uh, time of a win was that 58? Something like 59? that. 59? Yeah, they were flying from uh, what? Clear Lake, Iowa uh, area, and they were going Fargo. up to Fargo there. To Fargo Morgan yeah. there. <laughs> they should know they got to de ice the wings. <laughs> Just like yes. Masaba does, you know, when they're going to pier. That's right. Yeah. Masaba and those nine year old pilots. Yeah. They don't always de ice. All the time, they just, sometimes they pour a little hot coffee on there. <laughs> you know, because as you get older and stuff, your body just sags. Yes. I, you don't notice that so much because you got that huge upper torso. Yeah, I, 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 I hardly sag at all. Yeah. Yeah. But, you it's know, an Indian thing. It is. Yes. It, but Indians, white people will sag. You got the, their body breaks down and they just sag. Yeah. Due to the smell. Yes. White people have an odor about you. Yeah, especially if we lay out by the crematorium for a couple, yes. of, <laughs> couple of months. That's you know. right. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. But so you, you have the high cheekbones, you know, too. Exactly. All four of them. Yes. So that helps, uh, <laughs> that helps the skin stay, stay tight in certain areas. But me, I'm sagging all over the place. You are. And, you know, I like the wife to be on top now because if I'm on top, everything just sags towards her. And it's a, oh, I love you, I love you. And she's like, what? I can't hear you, my ears are covered. You know, and, I, and, and you get these man titties, I call them. And it's just, uh, you can't help it. If you don't exercise regularly, you get these huge man Marie's. And uh, I mean, the other night I reached down to grab her breast and it turned out to be mine. It was actually some of the best sex I've ever had though. <laughs> But the sagging, I just can't get used to that. Uh, and my love handles, I got a full set of luggage now. It just uh, you, you may be oversharing your uh, maybe so. I, I don't. I just maybe don't so because I know you don't have that problem. No, stuff. So. No, we don't have that problem, and, and no. I just I just don't think you should share that with us here. Yes, because this is a swinging crowd I'm here tonight. I'm not sure. I think it is. I'm not sure if it's. I a think it is a swinging crowd. You can feel that energy. Are you? It, I believe it is. Are you a swinging crowd? what they say it's me and the indian back in brandon today just a swinging, swinging. yeah we're swinging. swinging osama bin laden they say he's on the loose our nation won't be happy till he's twisting from a noose and he'll be swinging, swinging. barely swinging my girlfriend got a nose ring and then she caught a cold and there it was a hanging a mucus cheerio and it was swinging I do apologize to anyone who's ever had breakfast at Denny's I assure you the Grand Slam breakfast two cakes two sausages and a booger burger burger, burger. you don't see any nose rings in country music Thank that's for sure for that. I am sick of it. Yeah. I am sick. He's sick. He's sick. sick. He's 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 sick
13 earrings in one ear and 37 in the other. It's a damn That's why it is defiling their, their bodies. I cannot stop it. In and another thing, thing, if you are a man, macho, if you are a male person, masculine, and you have an earring, you are a sissy, a wussy, a chani, a kanahani watapati hada. Wink that. Unless you got a Harley Davidson, I want no problem with them guys. Yeah, that's right. You got to hardly do what the hell you want. Yeah. They are getting out of hand with them. You got the eyebrow rings and the forehead rings, Stop. cheek rips, tattoos, tongue studs. Oh. Oh, tongue studs. That so. used to mean a whole different thing when we went to college. And now, so. now, they got, now they got toe rings, belly button, nipple rings. Oh. Don't you even think about oh. getting one of them. Oh. Size of your areolas, they'd need hula hoops oh. anyway. And white kids be swinging through them. And, be the first we mobile do. Indian theme park. We, you know, country music is the last bastion of people who will not mutilate themselves. Absolutely. You will not see Alan with one of those things stuck in his jacks. Absolutely not. Right. Or Shania with one jammed in her twain. Although, yeah. although now that you mention it. <laughs> okay. We talked to a girl today had a tongue uh, stud. stud. Yeah, and it was one that had, uh, on top it had a little, uh, and down here it had a little, uh, whoop. It looked like an hourglass. You it know, did. what time is it? I don't know. I got to turn it over. And, and yeah. she was a, a young thing, you know, yeah. like 21 years old. Yeah. I said, why would you do that? Yes. Mutilated. I said, did that hurt? When then she said, well, no, it didn't hurt when did that did that. The clamp they put on there hurt. <laughs> it was this clamp, the clamp on it. Yeah. Yank your tongue out. Yeah. And then jab a needle through your tongue. That is just, that's like torture. It's stupid. That's, that's like... Uh, it's ridiculous. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, you guys used to do with putting a white guy out in the sun and stuff and then pouring honey on him and then releasing a whole ant farm, you know? <laughs> but, but to actually have someone clamp your tongue, pull it out, and jab it with a needle. Yeah. And then... And then put it. all in the name of cosmetic uh, uh, enhancement. You know that's all it is. Is to to supposedly look hip or to look uh, more uh, young. I guess is what it is because I certainly would never do that. Although I did get one of those uh, abdominizer things. Those. Electric? Have you seen those? I uh, saw those. I got one myself. Did you get one? Well, I got one. Yeah, but it won't go around me. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to kind of lower it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. And, uh, I'm losing weight. I'm Isn't not, it? <laughs> I'm not losing any weight, but I'm enjoying life. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what it is. It's like that, you know. It's it's like that uh, that fat blocker. Oh, you, you I bought some of that oh, stuff. That uh, Zenical. Oh. Zenical. Have you seen this stuff? Supposedly, you know, because I want to lose some weight, but it's uh, this is this stuff is supposed to block up to 35% of the fat that you take in. So you can yeah. eat cheeseburgers yeah. all the time and it's it going to cut them just, in a third. It just melts away. Yeah, yeah. it, it just melts even... away because you take this little pill. Yeah. But then I got home and then I read the box. And with all these new drugs, there's always a big, big uh, uh, touting of, of their uh, uh, the positive, uh, positive side. side. Yeah. And then the side effects are just in little teeny print. May cause frequent loose bowel movements, the urgency to have them, and the inability to control them. Right. Some people may experience oily discharge. Oh, yeah. You experience an oily discharge, you have pooped your pants. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And you may lose the weight, but you're not going to get an ache because yeah, there's a right. smell. Hey. There's a smell that goes with it, you know. Just, oh, I'm going to Georgia. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. You've been absolutely fantastic here tonight. We're going to leave you with a song that we wrote one time as we journeyed from our home state of South Dakota, headed west. Woo. We left South Dakota and drove out across Wyoming. Right. Anyone here from Wyoming? You know what? Of course not. Wyoming sucks. Always has. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You're kidding. There's someone from Wyoming. Someone from Wyoming? What town? Rollins. Rollins. One of the most beautiful spots in oh, the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
really. I mean, once you pass, uh, you know, on I-80, once you get past Cheyenne, oh. and then go through um, and Rawl uh, uh, Evanston, Evanston and, and, Rollins, at Rollins. and they named a baseball glove after that town. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's not even on the interstate, is it? Yes, Rollins, yeah. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah, spot. It really is. We've he, been through there many, many times. He just gets torqued off because you go into Wyoming and there's a giant cowboy. Yeah. You know, on the sign. Big, wonderful so Wyoming. Welcome to Wyoming and, and kind of a, you can see way off in the distance, a dead Indian. <laughs> big, wonderful Wyoming. It's yeah. a big, wonderful state. We got across Wyoming and pulled into Utah. Provo. Provo, Utah. Yeah. The first thing we did was protest the gold. That's right, the gold, the Russian judge. The Russian judge, <laughs> <laughs> whose name was Cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we, got, we, 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 we stopped at this convenience store. It was an Iraqi-owned, Osmond-operated 7-Eleven. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly what it was. Right. We went into this old stop and rob to get ourselves some Hostess cream-filled cupcakes. That's a nutritional plan that works for old Charging Turtle. That's right, we went in to get some Hostess cream-filled cupcakes. They had no. We got torqued They off. had no Hostess cream filled cupcakes. Indian got they had everything else, but no Hostess cream filled cupcakes. So we got real torqued off. We headed outside. The Indian looked down. He saw some litter on the ground. He gestured like this, which meant the Redskins kick was good. He said, Thank you, Nordic track. And a tear came from one of his eyes. So Osama bin Laden came out of the bathroom and he said to his wife, <laughs> Who's Al Davis? <laughs> Sad song. Listen carefully to the lyrics of this song. It'll bring a tear to your eye. One, cheer! One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hey. 